This week saw the latest update to Rainbow Six Siege released for PC users on the technical test server. Total Grim Sky adds two new operators and reworks the Hereford base map. Now after the sheer amount of easter eggs that were found in the villa map that came with the last update, I decided to try out this updated Hereford base to see what I could find. So up first we have a cool nod to the fact that Rainbow Six Siege is played by a lot of people. It was recently announced that Siege has 35 million players, which is insane when you consider the fact that the game got off to a very, very slow start. It seems that Ubisoft are proud of this, and rightly so, so they have decided to commemorate this moment with a number plate. Okay, so it's not the most grand way of celebrating such an achievement, but it's a nice touch. Considering that Siege is a game with no campaign, the operators actually have some pretty cool backstories. For example, did you know that Sledge holds the all-time speed and strength record for the SAS qualifying physical exam? Well, you do now. If you've read about the operators, then you'll know who Marius Stryker is. Stryker is the real name of German operator Jaeger, and if you've read his backstory, you'll also know that he's pretty skilled in fixing machinery. Hereford Base contains a pretty cool reference to this, as this plaque is a thank you to Jaeger for restoring some old aeroplanes. The next easter egg is probably my favourite, purely because of how well it's hidden. If you head to the bathroom on the second floor and shoot the wall that I do, you can reveal a picture. It says, Film is a name and this is my farmhouse with a remodelled bathroom finished in the spring of 1946. If you are reading this, you must be remodelling the bathroom again. And this is my car. Perhaps not really. Do you have flying cars yet? Can women buy their own cars? As I said, this is really well hidden. It's also been speculated that the car in this picture is the same as the car that's in the garage with the number plate. I'm not sure, what do you think? Finally, I kind of lied. This last clip isn't on Hereford Base. In fact, it's not even an easter egg, but it's cool and was a change made of the latest update, so I thought I'd share it. On the coastline map, you can find a pool table. Now, before the update, you probably know that when you potted a ball, nothing happened but the whiteboard reset, and it was almost like a functioning pool table. But with the update, when you pot a ball, this happens. As I said, it's not an easter egg, but it's still something pretty awesome that's worth sharing. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you're a fan of easter eggs, details and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. I'd just like to take this time to thank my awesome Patreon backers, Daniel Graham, Kevin Hummett and Tobias Kovstarsen for all of their support. Thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.